Bella Italia. Italy the beautiful. Even the names on the land are a song. San Gimagnano. Firenze. Isola Bella. Lago Maggiore. Passo Sella. Poets and painters have recorded its splendors through the ages. And now it has been captured on film as you've never seen it before. This is the Warner Brothers film crew on location. The boy and girl are Troy Donahue and Suzanne Plechette. Troy plays the part of the young architect. Suzanne is a librarian who breaks with her stuffy New England background to live this Rome adventure. adventure begins, you see, when the librarian gets caught with a book called Lovers Must Learn. The very word lovers implies. I'd like my book back, please. I'm going to need it. Because I'm going to where they really know what love's about. To Italy. And wherever this girl goes, she spreads enthusiasm for learning. Of course, when a student is as eager as she is, you know she'll pass rapidly to advanced studies. In a lesson. You gotta graduate. Well then, lesson number three. I used to be a school teacher, you know. The first time a good-looking Italian pinched my bottom, I said to myself, this is for me. And uh, they're still, uh... You better believe it, and I still like it. What'd you want me to do, make an explanation in front of God and everybody that we're not Mr. and Mrs. Porter? You could at least have asked for separate rooms. In a country so full of love as Italy, there are, of course, lots of other girls. And for our little librarian, other girls mean competition. And you told everybody in the place how much you loved her? You knew about Lita. She was no secret. I was foolish enough to think that I was somebody special. But you are special. <laughs> You know, my mother has a theory. She says that for every woman on earth, there's only one man. And you know when he comes along because she hears something like bells ring. Oh. Oh. What do you know? <laughs> I did hear bells, didn't I? Yes. 